welcome back to my channel. You're gonna have to excuse the shouting and the dogs because the lovely people at the very end of the vlog just love it and it's too warm to shut the window. Okay, first thing to address is yes, I have dyed my hair. I used oops, this. This is the Night and Balsam Pure Plex Bond Reconstructing Colour Cream. Protects against damage and breakage, rebuilds the hair's natural structure, restores strength, suppleness and volume. And I got it in Lightest Extra Ash Blonde 10.21. So, if you're not new to the channel, you know that this colour under here is my natural red. Right? Fine. I got my hair done. Our friend kindly did it for me because she knows I can't afford to go to the hairdressers or it was to save me. But the two times that she did my hair, the colour didn't take and I was so brassy and it was doing my head in. So I took the plunge very nervously and I did my patch test behind my ear and then yesterday I thought, fuck it, and I put it on. Now I know, I don't know if you can see it with this, let me put the ring light off, maybe you'll see. I know that these little bits here, it's maybe not showing it, maybe if I sit back, they look kind of grey, these bits, with like a little bit of a, see it there? If I do that, kind of grey, kind of, I don't know, greeny tint, but whatever, it's a lot better than it was. So, I am going to pop this little hairband on just to get my hair out the way. Plus it's cute. See, you can see it a little bit there. Like the, I know this isn't really the way it's supposed to sit, but. So I have a bit of U-Tan and Tone spray on. I have done my skin care and I thought I would do a short moustache. So I've put stuff in here and then if I need anything else, I can just grab it. But I was starting to get to that stage where I was like, I'm never going to get through so many of the products that I've got. So I just picked some pop them into my little bag here and that's what we're going to do so let me just rearrange i have just filmed it is the 21st today and i have just filmed my pr unboxing that i received from the lovely bubble bees that is going up on my channel tonight but by the time you watch this you'll have already seen it and this was in it. It's so cute. It's got bees on it and like little strawberries. And yeah, I'm so like, I can't wait for you guys to see that. So let me just get some of the washes over here. The weather has been so warm that I haven't wanted to put makeup on. It's also been making me break out in these prickly rashes and such fun, such likes. So I'm going to use the No Pore Blame Primer. Smooth and pore covering top secret for perfect makeup by Touch and Soul, which I was kindly sent by my friend Riri at the Bruce Lee Honest Beauty channel because Touch and Soul you can't get in the UK. It's such a ball, like, oh, and I'm loving my nail colour. It's the Barry M Jelly Polish in Asia. Acidia, how do you say it? Acia berry? Some berry smoothie anyway, sort of colour and I just love it, it's so nice. So that is that one. It's still so clammy. Bit overcast today right enough. Okay, and the foundation that I am going to use is the EX1 Invisawear Liquid Foundation. This is in the shade 3.0 and it says it's a skin light. Skin like pigments even out complexion for perfect coverage that is almost invisible, oil and fragrance free, non pore clogging, dermatologically tested. Now, this is a very affordable foundation, and I'm going to use my Body Shop Foundation Buffing Brush because I love it. And I'll get my Doll Beauty Mirror out and I'll just put some straight onto the brush. As I say, I've got a little bit of U-tan and tone on. I put it on over my skincare last night before I went to my bed. Because if I'm not wearing makeup, it's nice just to have that wee bit of colour. 
the dryness under and around my eyes just now is just at its peak, no matter what I do. So, loving that for me. <laughs> We're zooping through this year and these months, aren't we? I cannot believe it. Mental. Before you know it, the summer holidays will be over and the kids will be back at school. I'm sure some of you parents will be glad of that though. Probably driving you nuts, isn't he? I used to hate the summer holidays when I was younger because um, my mum was always working because she was the only one that worked. My dad never held down a job very well and they couldn't afford really to go anywhere so on the weekends my mum would take me to the cinema though so that I always, the times that I really miss my mum is, well I miss her all the time but because it was like the weekends because we always that was like our time together to do stuff. That's such a lovely foundation. I don't know if you, I wish you could see. Like, do you see it there? Maybe. It's just got that kind of tinge to it. But I'm just rolling with it and being like, that's the way I intend it to be. Okay, so, do you know what? I don't think I put two kit concealer, I didn't. Let me do that. What am I like? I'm going to use the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Concealer with Hyaluronic and ASEA, which is the ACAI in C4. This is like a pinky toned, but the reason I didn't even put a colour corrector in there either, did I? The reason I like the pinky tone is because I get such dark under eyes so then it's just a nice sort of a neutralise there for me I'll just go in my foundation brush again I love these brushes from the body shop I don't do body shop at home anymore but um, I do recommend these brushes to you because they are so good I need to pluck my eyebrows, honestly. They're so wild. So I'm going to try and shop my stash and use like a palette for a good few videos using different colours and then move on to another palette so that I'm like using them. I'm going to use this e.l.f. This is the under eye powder and it just says in sheer. It's such a good powder, like no even joking. Tap some of it off. A little speck of glitter from some place. I have to admit, like, my hair feels really amazing after using that as well. Like, so nice. Okay, <sighs> let's have a look at these eyebrows. They're very unruly, but we'll maybe put something in it. I'm hoping this video won't be too, too long for you. Please excuse the eyebrows. I'm going to use this Winky Lux Uni Brow Universal. Oh, it was a spoiler in the end of it, Julie. <laughs> Too funny. Don't know, it's a weird sort of pain this, but anyway. We'll maybe do a wee bit. Oof. The humidity is absolutely crazy. It's true what they say, we're always moaning about the weather. When it's raining, we're fed up of it. When it's sunny, it's too hot. If we had aircon, I think we'd be 
less inclined to moan about behaviour. We're not going to look at them. They're not there. If you if you don't look, then they're not there. Whoa! Julian. Okay, let's move on to eyes. So I love this palette. I'm using the So Jaded palette, which is a ColourPop palette. It's my absolute favourite, and I really need to use it more. I don't know what I'm going to do, but we're going to do something. So. That always is a good start. I'm going to go into the shade. Oh, why have I got glitter in there? Um, let me see. What shade will we go into? I think I'm going to go into my precious, which is just this matte shade draw. I'm going to just pop that all over my lid. Just to... How is the lid shade it's it's not quite white it's like a like creamy color i'm going to try and go for shadows in here that i haven't used much of but you know what it's like you end up going for your favorite colors mm. oh i so want to go for my favorite colors Okay, I'm not going to do that though. I'm going to go for the shade. Hmm. I think I'm going to go for Geo Dude, which is this sort of shade down here. I'm just going to stick with the wee brush that I've got you now. I'm just going to take that into my crease. I'm just sort of dabbing it on. Let's up that. I hate this lighting situation. That's why I have to lean over like this because the light is coming from here from the window. But I can't move you or my desk over to there because then it would block my cupboard. Which is annoying. My anxiety has been so up and down, like, you wouldn't believe. You should totally get this palette if you haven't got it already. It is so good. I'm just kind of placing it kind of way I want it to be. And then we'll blend it. We're at 13 minutes, Julie, and you said it wasn't going to take oh, ages. What have you been up to? Let me know in the comments. Are you loving this weather? Do you like the heat? Do you prefer to be cold like me? Or cool or normal body temperature? If I even know what that is anymore. What are we going into next? Hmm. I don't, don't rightfully know. I think I need a little small brush. Maybe not you though going to take this little brush and I'm going to go into the shade hmm. I think I'm going to go into the shade Jasper which is kind of like a brownish shade and I'm just going to stamp that just here like a normal area just stamp it <laughs> you're probably like why are you looking off to me Sorry. If I had the funds, then I would get maybe a box light or something to try and make it a bit better. But I don't, so 
you just have to bear with what I've got, I'm afraid. So I'm just sort of placing this Jasper shade on the lid at the moment. This is a MAC, I think it's a 223 brush or something, I'm not sure. I've had it for a while so it's starting to, the writing's starting to smudge in it. Yeah, you might just want to strap yourself in and get a snack, people. Because it looks like it is going to be a long video. You're like, oh, it is nearly. Right, let's give a wee blend of that. Oh, I've got an itch. I'm just softly, softly blending that in just now. And then you can go back in and then just keep adding for as much as you want to add. That's such a nice colour. My good friend Vivi at the Bruce Lee Honest Beauty, she uses this palette every single month with a couple of other YouTubers and they do like a birthstone inspired looks and things so that's good because you know they're really getting the use of the palette So that did kind of inspire me as well to be just like, right. Okay, what colour do we want to go in with now? <gasps> There's so many. I think I might go for Tiger Eye, which is this one here. And I'm going to use my finger. Oh, look. We're just going to pop it on with my finger. That is such a nice shade. It's like a kind of coppery gold but it's got like a olive green sort of undertone to it. It's really nice. It's not like proper shimmery or anything you know it's just just very nice indeed. Let's get a clean brush and just give that a tiny blend. I've almost kind of turned it into a brown smoky eye, have I? Oh, right. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the jaded shade, which is this swampy sort of green uh, matte shade, on a smaller brush. Hmm, I can't really decide which brush, this one, and I'm going to, that is so pigmented, this is either going to look nice or I'm going to have messed it up, <laughs> place your bets. Oh, that's such a nice colour. Oh, that's a nice grunge, isn't it?
I just want to make sure that I'm getting on the same level with both eyes because sometimes I do struggle with that still. This is such a nice colour. Okay, let's give that a blend. I was about to say yummy there. Like what even? Who even says that about their eyes? Yummy. <laughs> That's so nice. Look. <gasps> Grungy. Now, I just want to take some of that My Precious, which was the very first sort of shade that I used on my lid. Just to do that and kind of diffuse everything together. anyway. Now before I put more lid stuff on I'm just going to take what's left on the brush from that brown shade that we used. Just run it under my eye on the outer edge. Oh that's difficult. But then I'm going to go in on the other side of the brush with that kind of jade swampy green. I just said that in the other corner. I have to watch with when I do it under my eyes though because I do actually get quite irritated under my eyes. It looks absolutely crazy right now. Hopefully once I put <laughs> mascara on. Right, I'm going to go back in with that tiger eye and I'm going to add it literally just into the middle there. It's not showing up greatly, I think, just because it actually blends in really well with the shades that I have used. So maybe it would have been better with a, another shimmer, but hey-ho. Then we will take the teeniest, tiniest little bit of Moonstone and just pop that in my inner corner. Oh, lovely! <laughs> Love it. Right, let's step away from you, the new. And liner. I didn't take a liner out, so we'll go into my liners. And I think since it's grungy, I might just do this bit. Where's my favourite little paint box? Okay, I'm just going to take this dark green. This is Colourpop Fast Lane. Life in the first lane. Line if I can. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna look so nice and grungy just to be sat in the living room. Like, see, for the weekend, there is no way you could have even coped with makeup on because it would have just melted right off. <gasps> look at that dark green, it's lovely, isn't it? And then I'm going to use this Chanel 
Le Volume Stretch Mascara. It's just a little sample one. It's got the weirdest brush. Don't even know if you can see that, but like get this one. Oh, I think it's going to be a really clumpy mascara. Oh, it burped. And then it's transferred. Great. I really do not like clumpy mascara. It's look, it's like pure globules on the end. I'm trying to use the mascaras that go open though. Because I do not want to have loads open because you know that they dry up. You should see the dryness under the eye. It's just unbearable. Lovely. Right. Let's have a look. Okay, so we are now going to do some bronzer. I have my Charlotte Tilbury Firm Star Bronze and Glow bronzer and highlights here. And I need a big brush. I always think it's best to use a big brush with your bronzer because then you can just do this. And I tap it off in my hand because I hate having too much bronzer personally. And see how people, and I'm not dissing anybody, but see folk that do that shape and then you just see like that bit and it's just this line. I, I just can't do that for me. I know it's each to their own and that's great. But I don't know, when I look at myself I'm just like, no, I don't like that look. I like to have it. Completely no lines and blended down. And you're probably thinking, yeah, like this doesn't even look like that, Jill, but gorgeous. If you do, it's the so myself. And then for blush, I'm going to use my Milk Cosmetics. This is Cali Dream. I want to get the cream version of these oh, one day. Again, these are super pigmented, so I tap some off on my hand. I do love me a peachy blush. It's so pretty. Okay, and for highlight, I've got three here that I can think. I've got MAC, Cream Colour Base and Hush. Or I have Benefit Dandelion Twinkle or I have the Charlotte Tilbury one that's in here and I think I'm going to go for the Dandelion Twinkle oh love this brush as well this is the Body Shop Highlighter Brush it is thebomb.com oh nice just a wee bit near I just think a peachy brown a blush it's just so, like, healthy looking. I feel like I've gone overboard with the old highlight there, but there you go, people. Look at that. Lovely. Now, for lip liner, I'm using the Doll Beauty in Boy. Bye. My lips are so dry. And then for Lippy, I am using Max Patisserie, which is a luster formula. Mmm, so creamy. Mm. And now for scent spray, of course, it's got to be all nighter, doesn't it? Hopefully that mascara is set or it'll be all over my chops. And I'm finally done. You're like, yay, Julie. 
So let me just get my hair a little zhuzh with a brush. Oh. And this is my finished look. What do you think? Kind of grungy. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, click the bell to be notified of when I upload, and I'll see you next time. Bye!